Hey everybody, Jamie with Muddy Soap Co. here. I'm gonna make a few bath bombs today. I've had a couple requests for videos showing how I do my swirl method, so I thought I'd do that real quick. So uh, I've already started, but I've got, I think I've got enough mix to do one more shot, so let's see what we get. So I've got two colors here. I'm using the two and a half inch mold, and I'm going to take my one color, and I use a little coffee scoop, and I tilt my mold, or my shell, to the side, and I put mix in like one half, right? And then get some more of the mix and put it in the other half. So it looks like that. It's kind of like a 50-50 blend here of two colors, or it is. And then I sprinkle some on top and cover the whole thing with the next color. And then I use a chopstick or a paintbrush. And I'm sure you guys have seen, there's lots of YouTube videos showing this method. This is nothing I created, but I'm just showing you how I use it with the press. And it works for me. So you just start swirling with whatever tool you like. The diameter of the swirl tool determines how big and aggressive your swirls are and does also does how aggressive you are swirling. So there you go. We swirl. And this is where I would put embeds if I had them and had thought far enough in advance to do that. And then I just mix my colors and fill the mold. And when I get to the top, I just try to marbleize it. I haven't figured out a way to make it exactly swirled. And again, I, I've never had a customer tell me I'm not gonna buy that bath bomb because the top doesn't look as swirled exactly as the bottom. So. And then I just, I don't know if you guys saw what I did. With the press, you don't want powder to be build up in your guide plate because then your shell won't slide underneath. So I just take my finger as I'm doing it and I tend to just dust off the extra powder. So then we go under, down, and then up. Pop up my mold, use the popper, and then I do the, wipe my finger across the top because I like it and I can't help myself. <laughs> and then there's my one swirly bath bomb. And they're all different. Sometimes I get a better swirl than others. I've learned to not be quite so hard on myself. I'm working on it, but see this one came out kind of cool or cooler, all that. So there we go. Next one, let's see if we can get one more before my mix is totally too dry. So then I'll use, sometimes I don't even use the scoop and I just load half the shell with one powder. As you get faster, you figure out what works for you as you go. And then see, half the shell with the other powder. And then now we're gonna come on top with some pink, cover the whole thing. Take your chopstick or your paintbrush and start swirling. I call these my art bombs because you certainly take more time doing these than you do the ones that are single color. So I charge a little more for these because they take more time. You can't just power through these as quickly. So then we get to the top and I do my little marbling so that they look marbled. And then under. And normally I'm working on my big table, not confined to this little bitty area, but for filming purposes, this was the best place. And then with your popper, down, and then up. And then I wipe off the excess, pop it out, and you can see pretty swirl. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>